Good evening. Coming to you live right here in sunny South Florida. It's Christmas Eve. You know, we're gonna, we, I got a lot of material to cover in a short period of time. You know, no matter where Mr. Sunshine goes, there's always something happening. Champagne's flowing, corks are popping. And you know what? As I've been bringing you throughout the whole entire year, 2015, and we still have a few more days to go before the new year, you have seen that I've been bringing you from around the world everything that's what's been happening. And you know what? First off, we're going to get started by the meaning of Christmas. You know, throughout history, meaning of Christmas, we're talking about the religious sector, we're talking about the evangelicals, but you know what? What it is to me is what I try to do every day, and that's be nice. You know, we don't need to have a specific holiday in order to call your friends, get, text them, email them, say, hey, how you doing? Come on over for dinner. Come on over for lunch. You know, you don't have to wait for a day for that because that day could be every single day. And you know what? If more and more people did that every single day, the world would be a much better place to live. You know, that's how it goes. We don't have to sit there and say, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, no matter what it may be. Just say, hey, I want you to have a fantastic day because that's what it makes the difference between putting a smile on someone's face and Mr. Sunshine puts a smile on as many faces as he possibly can. Now, moving on, we had a lot of birthdays today and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about my dear friend, Ed Yunkin. Now, you know, Eddie, I know what's going on. I know it's your birthday. I know no matter where you are, you're celebrating. But I got to take this opportunity to tell all my friends about one of my dear friends, Ed Yonkin. You know, I met Ed Yonkin back up there when I was in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. I sent some guys out to do a job. He owned a big corporation out there in town. And, and he needed some work done, and my guys got to talking. And Eddie, Eddie Yunkin, among many things, he's an engineer, he's an instructor, he's a teacher, he worked for high school, he, he helps people. That's what Ed Yunkin does. And what he does on top of that is he flies helicopters. He's been flying helicopters for as long as helicopters been around. You want to talk about Enstrom? You want to talk about Jet Rangers? You want to talk about Robinson? No matter what it may be, he is the man. Now, I'm Ed Yonkin comes down to my, uh, to my store. We hit it off like two peas on a pod. Next thing you know, he introduces me to his gorgeous wife, which I thought was his daughter, all right? Shirley, Shirley, you're styling and profiling too. Shirley te was a teacher. We had a lot of good time. We all went to dinner. We had lunches together. And Yunkin, as I was flying my helicopters, I got my pilot's license and I'm flying all over Fayette County. Eddie says, hey, Eddie, you know what? I said, hey, Ed, what's up? Yeah, Eddie. <laughs> Two Eds are better than one. He says, you know what? We're going to take this helicopter and we're going to fly it down to Florida. I said, you know what? I'm in. Let's go. We jump in his Robinson R44 and we're flying down at about 500 feet AGL, that's above ground level, under everyone's radar, okay? And we're going from town to town to town, flying that baby all the way down. Well, we get to South Carolina, he wants to crash for a thing, we pull in, we stop at the best hotel, we get the best suite, we got a half a million dollar chopper sitting outside, we go in there, we be in here, we're tired, we eat the filet mignons, we're sitting there pouring some drinks, and we say, you know what, it's time to go to bed. So he's over there in the other bedroom, I take a shower, he's all showered up, we, I turn out the light and then I go to bed. Well, you know what, come about two o'clock in the morning and I'm sweating to death, and I'm what the hell is going on in here? And something's on fire. Well, here I find out Mr. Yonkin likes to crank that heat up to about 110 degrees, all right? And that's how he sleeps. Well, you know what? Mr. Sunshine does not sleep like that, all right? He's, when, he, when he's in bed, he's hot, he's cooking, he's styling and profiling. He don't need to heat up to 110. I almost died that night. Eddie, I want to thank you so much. Other than that, we had a fantastic time. And then when I moved... Next thing you know, he's living in sunny South Florida too. Eddie, I can't wait to see you. You come on down here. You fly that chopper down here. I'm going to take it up, and we're going to show him how it's done. All right? Cyclic. 
collective. We're going to show them how to fly that chopper. That's how it goes. Now, moving forward, I'm getting cards, emails, text messages. I got new friends from Estonia. They're, calling, they're texting me from Estonia saying, Eddie, what's going on in sunny South Florida? Well, you know what? All you got to do, my new Facebook friend, is tune in and see what's really going on down here. My friend Kareem, you hit me all day today, Kareem. You know, you're over in London. I know it's a rainy, it's a foggy day, but you know what? You just get on Mr. Sunshine's Facebook page or YouTube and you can see what's really going on down here in sunny South Florida. I'm going to be coming to see you next year. So when you get ready, I'm coming to London. My other friends in California, I'm going to be coming to the West Coast and we're going to be tearing it down over there. Now, I got my dear friend Don Couture. Let me tell you something, Donnie. All right? You're my hero. You're up there, you're doing your videos, you're looking just like Mr. Sunshine. Now, the fact of the matter is, I saw your Facebook pictures. I see you in a tuxedo. I see you styling and profiling like never before. But you know what? Tonight, as I do every night, this is how Big Daddy's going out tonight. All right, what I'm wearing tonight is a Briotti double-breasted suit. And if I unwrap the wrapper, Take a look at what's going on here. I got a dear friend of mine. Valentina bought me this Versace tie. I want you to get a real good look as to what's really going on in the world of fashion when it comes down here. So you're talking, and my friend Shane, Shane, I know you're up here in the northern part of Florida. Let me tell you something, Daddy. I see your outfits. I see your pictures. I see you posting, looking as only you can look. You know what? Get yourself into a Brioni suit. Get yourself into a nice Versace tie. Throw some alligators on, okay? Throw the alligators on, and they're going to be jumping off your feet all night long because that's how it goes in sunny South Florida. Now, Robert Mavis. Robert, I see you over there. You're cooking up fillets. I see you're over there at the Sky Bar. You got your girl over here, and you got another girl over here. Well, you know what, Big Daddy? You better gear up because when I come over there, it's going to be an all-night ride. All right, we're going to take it to them all night long. Now, not to be left out of the conversation. As a matter of fact, I was out. I, I, I got another present here. I want all everybody in the Facebook world, I want you to get a load of what we got going on here, huh? Here's another vintage, beautiful Chanel Camden reporter bag. Now, this is a unisex bag. Don't think that handbags are only for women. It doesn't work that way anymore. Us guys, we got to come prepared too. So what we got, we got all the pockets. We got pockets on the back. We got pockets on the side. We got a beautiful interior in here. Life is good. This is what a vintage Chanel reporter bag looks like. You want to put your cell phone in there, your microphones. You want to go on a travel, throw your stuff in there, your shaver, everything else. And this is what you do, your style and profile. When you're walking through the airport and all of the flight attendants are gawking, saying, what's the, look at him, what's going on over there? He's carrying around in a Chanel bag. That's how it goes through the airport. No matter where you are, you got a style and profile like never before in today's world if you want to do anything and get ahead in the game. Now, matter of fact, Mr. Sunshine, get ready to go. We got a few Christmas Eve parties I got to attend to. And you know what? No matter what it is, Mr. Sunshine's coming prepared. He's got Chanel gifts for everybody involved. Okay? So tonight... As Santa Claus is coming out of the North Pole on his sleigh, all right, I'm Santa Claus this year. I'm going to be the guy going to the clubs tonight, going to the Christmas parties. We're going to be drinking eggnog. We're going to be dipping champagne. And I'm going to be handing out Chanel gifts for everyone involved. So you know what? In closing, I don't want you to think that Christmas only comes once a year. It comes every day of your life. Whether you like it or not, pick up the phone, call your friends. You don't have to wait for a holiday. You call them every day and say, you know what? God loves you, and Eddie does too. Woo!